Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why mythics are bad for magic. Mythics, there was a time ago where we didn't have mythics. Now we have mythics and then we have foil mythics or expeditions. So not only do we have a uh, harder to chase cards, it turns out the most cards you need are really good are mythics. Now back in the olden days, we didn't have the problem because the there was a distribution of the cards equally so you could get if for instance tomagoyf was the best card back in the days it actually wasn't that great you would not need to buy way more so if you get a box you can pretty much guarantee there's probably a tomagoyf in that box i would love if someone could comment what the o ratio is for tomagoyf versus the new mythic ratio but now you can buy a box and not get the mythic that you want. Um, not the card that you want. That's why when you buy a box of cons, the fetch lands are very easy to get. Um, there's at least a few fetch lands in that box. But if you wanted to pick a particular planeswalker, you probably maybe one or two planeswalkers, but you won't get the one that you're trying to get. So mythics as a general statement of scarcity uh, whenever you try to make something less common you're trying to inflate artificially inflate its price by lowering its supply so that's okay i mean that's fine i get it it's an ultra card it's kind of like playing the lottery you want to uh, win if you will but the part i don't really understand isn't you know the concept of the mythic but the concept of the mythic that's in high demand not finding a home elsewhere so when you have the option to reprint in an event deck you have the option to print in a dual deck even a commander deck whatever you can print it in continue to print tomagoyf as a mythic yes it's beneficial and i can only imagine what it would be if it wasn't reprinted twice but no it's not the way to do it if people need a certain mythic and it's been X amount of time later and it's not affecting your standard, it won't be played in standard, it's not powerful enough, it's not affecting limited or draft very much, and these formats where uh, you, they care about draft, people just care about reprints. Now, why print Tomagoyf as a mythic when he can be printed as a rare? He used to be a rare. And this is not the only time you have times where you've done this before in the past. Uh, most recently, Adrazi Temple. Adrazi Temple was a rare and we printed it, we reprinted it as a uncommon, which greatly reduced the price of the card once it started spiking because there was much more supply of it. The same with Eye of Ugin. Eye of Ugin was a mythic, it was reprinted as a rare, and thank goodness it was. Can you imagine Eye of Ugin as a mythic? how disastrous that would have been to the price of a modern and i mean even as a rare it was like 40 dollars as a mythic it probably hits tomagoyf levels because it replaces tomagoyf at the time before it was on before it was banned so assuming it wasn't banned and all that really good stuff going in its favor if it was a mythic things would have got out of whack extremely fast same with so why there's even been a case sign on of something where you took a rare and you made it a common i'm not saying whether to do that with tomagoyf but why continue to bump it up like force of will was a uncommon we bumped it up to a mythic wasteland was an uncommon we bumped it up to a rare which thank goodness it's not a mythic because i felt like that's what they would do i'm okay with mythics and standard because you gotta sell your packs i'm less okay with mythics and modern and legacy because at that point you need players i mean at that point you've stated in the past where's, where's the coach has stated in the past many times we don't care about these formats if you don't care that much about it give players what they want reprint stuff as non-mythics mythics and standard in my opinion fine it sells packs i get it it, it directly impacts your bottom line there's no reason bob and dylan click or any of these really highly I mean, the worst case would be if they made Zendikar fetch lands. I've been hearing that fetch lands will be in Eternal Masters, but if they made fetch lands mythics, I would be like, oh my, <laughs> that would be terrible. So I get mythics, but super mythics, a little too much for my taste. 
uh, which are super mythics are expeditions, foil mythics. And, you know, it just doesn't seem like it's going to stop. Like, then we'll get foil, foil mythics. So one in every, you know, 100 cases or something, you get a, uh, a card made from gold. I, I don't know what the super foil mythic will be. But, uh, I, mm, you know, make cards that are good, that are needed, non-mythics. Standard, do whatever you want. Standard is your honey pot. Go for it. Anyway. Bye, guys.